happening global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Some few days back, Nigerians were wrapped up in joy and ecstasy when they heard uh, the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, announcing 50% slash cut across the board on uh, transport, those traveling, mentioned some certain routes, about 28 routes, uh, where if you are moving from Lagos to Oware, depending on those routes, uh, you have 50% discount. And he mentioned um, at some point when Nigeria is asking, would is it just general buses? He mentioned some buses, okay, that uh, are, are beneficiaries to this, but all Nigerians who are passing that route are entitled to 50%. Well, it looks like Peter we have decided to ensure that that particular promise is not propaganda. But what he discovered on online survey as an on, on the sports survey is really uh, not encouraging. Nigerians are wondering, are we also back in propaganda? You're going to find out as you take survey, baseline survey, cut across. Remember, the Southeasterners majorly are used to always going back home. Alibo, always beautiful during your tides. So you're going to find out what transpired in some of other parts as well, including the north, that are also beneficiary. Before we go into the news, people can subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Right now, Nigerians are reacting front, back, and center. Now, according to Peter Obi, I quote him word for word. He said, I read the report of the president's approval of a 50% slash in the price of interstate transport fare for Nigerians traveling during this year tide uh, from Thursday 21st of, two, of the 20, from Thursday, 21st December 2023 to January 4th, 2024. The news report added that the president also approved free rides for commuters with all train services within the period. Now, if fully implemented, as reported, I consider this first time intervention of the government intended to help the masses, a step in the right direction. However, the major concern about such emergency measures is what follows. Afterwards, now the high cost of transportation and associated hardships are all well known. The question this is now palliatively arises is what or is that of what happens after the festive season? Is there a sustainable policy measure to cushion the masses from the current high transportation costs? Obese accent. Now, if the current effort comes with operational challenges, Millions of people have already traveled bearing the broth and the high cost and the huge cost of such travels. How will such people get their refunds or be compensated? Now, following the government announcement of a 50% discount on interstate transport fare for Nigerians, I have taken time to inquire into the implementation mechanics across different cities, but I have Today, I sent out contacts who consulted widely with the transporters in major parks across the country. In Abuja, they carried out on-the-spot investigation in Jabi Otako areas. In Lagos, they visited major parks like Jibowu, Festag, Mile 12, Aja, and Mazamaza. And none of the transporters in these parks was aware of this 50% discount. At Opi Weka, Onisha, which is the main traffic hub in Anambra, and in other parts of the country like Kano, Aba, Kaduna, Oware, and Gombe, the story is the same. Now, the government has again announced a few transport companies chosen to participate in the intervention for which 28 routes have been designated. There are no announced forms of checks and balances to ensure that these transporters follow the terms of the contract. There are obvious questions on the integrity of this intervention effort. One, if one expects that such a policy that strives to appeal to the broad masses, especially the downtrodden, deliberate and concrete arrangements should be made with transport companies. I pray that this is not yet another spin to curry favor in the media space after appetizing the people. The Nigerian people are going through untold hardship and the government must not remain insensitive to their sufferings. 
Compassion on the part of government is a good thing, but it should not be an avenue for exploiting the weak structures of government to encourage less than transparent policy implementation. Peter Obi. Somebody got angry. I said, can you imagine? Government of lies. <laughs> Another person here says, now I am serving currently uh, in Jigawa State and I would love to go home, Ekiti, to celebrate with my family. But the transportation fare is as costly as twice before. I am very sure that these drivers aren't aware of this slash of a thing. Mm, now the truth be told. Such announcement. I personally, this is just my personal opinion. Just like what happened during the announcement of subsidy removal, he just he just came in during his inauguration speech, no proper consultation done, not knowing the books or where Nigerians are or where the oil situation is. He just on the spot and now subsidy removal. Nigerians are still suffering over that subsidy removal to today. And that's why the cost of transportation, cost of living has skyrocketed. Again, he went online and told Nigerians through the media that he has cut across board as some 28 route and some companies to yes, slash 50%, even uh, some air flights to 50%. Nigerians are super happy. What is that mechanism, again, they ask on ground, that makes such words binding? If eventually they said, okay, uh, some companies said they have done that, they can always, it's so very easy, they can always go back to their manifesto, their mandate, as the manifesto, they call it, been at their mandate, mandate from where they have filled all the people who traveled that route from that particular time of 21st, who paid full, full money. They can always recreate such and say they paid half. And they can say that their full money was actually, if they had paid about, let's say, 25000 uh, and they would have said, okay, actually, they, they, what they gave was 50000 but these guys paid 25000 Even though 25000 was actually the original full. So they can even get more money if there's any such thing. I believe that before this announcement was made, these companies would have been consulted, and they would say, okay, can we see your manifest? Yes, that's the word, manifest. Can we see your manifest, okay, um, that you're going to run through from probably 21st, how it looks like, okay? Going forward, we'll be bringing one of our agents who be mining all of these companies to see how many people that travels okay and whatever amount they pay we ensure that they pay half of the money so we know each company each day how much people travel via that company how much is due them that is 50 percent that the government to play that i call that transparency but in a place where you just sit back it's okay you have good intentions but implementation is zero nigerians suffer and if they have very sharp companies they can actually make a lot out of this and to think that some of these drivers have little or no knowledge about the slash like rufai asked rufai asked the question are you saying that 50 percent have you discussed with the drivers the company are they going to pay using the transport to their, their fuel and you tell them to just take 50%, you're not the one running the operational cost of the company. And you're not saying, okay, there's going to be 50%, the government is going to pay it. And why is it that the Nigerian masses have not felt it? Some have already gone. How are they going to get back those questions? Those are personal questions that Peter will be asked. Well, let's meet in our comment session again. Peter will be asking very sensitive questions. Let's